<laughs> Amira Bartok and I'm a UMass MFA alum, and I did the cover to this issue of Mass Review. Um, I'm going to read a couple of pieces from a collection of um, stories and letters about the end of where I changed the life of and, and changed the end of life of um, famous people and dogs. And this is about Mussolini, and it's called Pilgrims. It's Easter 939, and Mussolini and his wife are eating some pig and a piatta. Suck the bone, the Luce tells her. It's the best part, the most nutritious, where all the light is. When I was young, we ate pane di sangue, blood sandwiches, sweet escape. You know, until you try to ever try anything new. Mussolini has screwed someone someone for months now, maybe years. He comes in their room after dark, smelling of sour milk and hay. That bitch must live in a farm, or maybe he's sleeping with a goat, La Signora says to herself, and just to look at what is laid out before them. Each red table has a bottle of wine, a rose, a candle, the same small piglet roasted to perfection, mouth open as if to say, Come in, come in, I've been expecting you. Her husband gnaws a bone and thinks of hands on meal has gone and how he could eat another pig, just like this one, only bigger and worse. He remembers his mother spreading blood on bread, her large hands rough but tender, his mouth open and forever hungry. Suddenly the night fills with the sound of bells and the cries of dogs and distant singing. They're crawling up the mountains, on the, up the mountain on their knees, their clothes in rags, the road blossoming red beneath them. La Senora reaches inside her purse and smiles, turning the small silver knife will later plunge into her husband's heart after he goes to bed, the knife that will change the course of history. Meanwhile, her husband makes a picture in the air with his hands, as if he were holding a chicken by the neck. What you do, he tells his wife. You slit its throat. Let the blood flow into a bowl. You're not looking. You let it flow into a bowl. You let it flow into a bowl, flow out until there's nothing more inside. Then you wait till it is sweet and thick as honey. Look, look when I'm talking to you. Musa makes the gesture again, drawing his finger across the invisible neck. And he thinks his wife is finally watching this time, watching his hands throttle something delicate and still. But she is looking past his stubby fingers clutching air, past the lights of town and swirling faces. She is watching something rising up from atop the mountain. And I'll end with a fake letter that <laughs> Kafka may or may not have written to <laughs> a certain mysterious woman, the hunger artist. <laughs> in Vienna, in the silent white room, crumbling sanatorium, the day nurse found Kaka's emaciated corpse slumped over his small desk, his head resting on a letter that he had written the night before to an unnamed woman in Prague. My dearest, my nemesis, my love, everything I leave behind, green and red, my books, my heart, a letter inscribed to you on bark and autumn leaves. Bury my portrait, my nightcap, your white dress of lightning. Bury our long embrace, our bodies burning behind closed doors. What the hell? Bury them all. Well, maybe not all. Maybe just one or two. Or, or maybe my books, just my books. Oh, I don't, I don't know. What do you think? I can't make up my mind. Please, my little dumpling. Would you call me and ask her what she thinks? I know you think she doesn't like you. She's that way with everyone. Trust me. Oh, my darling crumb cake, my kugel of my little prune Danish. <laughs> so many regrets. If only I had been something more to you than a dean or a being cleared from the table. If only I had been a king rather than a lowly scribe, or a castle, not a village buried under snow. Well, you catch my drift. My little minx. My monster, my delicate angel. Winter has been such a slow, tinkling journey of black crows. Is this how it will end? Will sulfur rain down from the heavens while I sit here alone, starving to death? Will an asteroid fall? Will a tornado kill me? A hurricane, a hailstorm, aliens? Will there be locusts and frogs? Will I get boils? What if I get boils? Bad ones. You know the kind. Remember that rash of them I had in Paris? I think we can all agree that those were the worst boils I ever. I couldn't sit down for a month. 
Well, as mother used to say, nobody likes the winner. Therefore, I do not like myself. Forgive me, but I am a dog. <laughs> no. I, on second thought, I'm just a dog's discarded bone. No, wait a minute. Not a bone. That's not right either. An earthworm. Yes, something squishy with an anus at either end. <laughs> Is that right, though? Do worms have two anuses? I have heard that if you decapitate one, it will grow another head. I wonder if it would grow an anus. I could use another one right now. <laughs> <laughs> the food they do here. Don't get me started. Oh, if only I hadn't left my encyclopedia in Prague for that zoology textbook you gave me. You always gave the sweetest gifts. Okay, let's say cockroach to be sure. I know. I've used that one before. But it really works. I am a cockroach. I was born a cockroach, and I will die one as well. My nemesis, my love. Bury my untouched plate, my fountain pen and shoes, my photograph of you in the snow, and that other photograph you still have, and you said you'd give back to me, but you always say you'll do something. And then you never do. God, that drives me mad. So in conclusion, in the end, at my final hour, oh yes, this is it, once again, you didn't call, you never call, why don't you ever call? Is it too much to ask for you to talk for just one measly hour a week? In the end, I was just a file of words to you, left lying on the floor, a few scattered teeth, and an old crumbled hat. Bury those as well, my darling, my little golem, my love. I bid you farewell. I'm going now. This is it. But you still have to call. I'm not dead yet. Yours in eternity, Franz. P.S. I'm not sure about the hat. If you know someone who needs a hat, by all means, give them. It was my offensive and stylish in its day. All it needs is a bit of clean, and it will look as good as normal. But listen, if you give it to that asshole you slept with last year, I swear, with God as my witness, I will squash him like a... <laughs> well, you know, if I'm back as a ghost or something. Thank you. Yay.